Hey, what's up guys? The Flix here again. Welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy at War. We're on halt for today's battle and we're about to enjoy a rebel base defense. Stormtroopers, supported by walkers, have to eliminate the outside defenders before they can breach the various entrances of the base and do battle with the rebels inside. However, before we get started, here's a message from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by The Ridge. The Ridge offers high quality and minimalistic wallets available in a variety of different colors and awesome materials. I received one in carbon fiber and one in black titanium. They both look amazing and contain absolutely everything I need to have in my wallet with space for even more cards. What I really like about these wallets is that they streamline and simplify your pockets, removing room for unnecessary junk paper and receipts, which you can get online most of these days. They also have a really cool tactical and militaristic look, they just don't look like a regular wallet. Adding and removing cards to your wallet is just as easy as it looks, and the sturdy build keeps all the cards secure inside. I really, really hope you'll take a look at the site linked in the description box below. There are so many variants of this wallet and they all have their unique feel and look. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. They also come with a lifetime guarantee. I really, really appreciate their product and the quality of their work and I hope you will too. Thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, let's get to the battle. But before we start it, I thought we'd take a look at this beautiful map made by Mr. Blood Moon. Uh, this one and many more Star Wars maps are available on ModDB or the Steam Workshop for Men of War Assault Squad 2. So we have a rebel base here on Hoth. It's not the rebel base on Hoth, but it is a rebel base on Hoth. Um, it's much smaller, uh, probably located nearby the, the main base, uh, that the, uh, at and Stormtroopers attacked together with, uh, Darth Vader and everyone else trying to root out the rebellion here on Hoth, at least, and, um, I've, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed by the interior work here. Uh, I've got some good news as well, um, I have many, many more Star Wars maps to play with, and... Blood Moon himself has agreed to make more maps for us and I've asked for Clone Wars maps because I know you guys prefer the Clone Wars over the Galactic Civil War. So here we have one out of the three entrances defended by a few rebels just outside. Um, we have like a barracks here or a few beds leading over a bridge here down a icy ravine, looking very nice, into another area, then to the left here, to the open, uh, where we have a control room. To the left, we've got the second entrance, which is the hangar itself, and up top, heading to the top of this kind of like hill or mountain, uh, which the base is made inside of, uh, we have the third entrance. So three entrances for stormtroopers to attack, uh, lots of rebels defending the base inside and outside. We're gonna see a variety of stormtroopers attacking today with a variety of vehicles as well, or walkers, I suppose. Alright, the battle is about to begin. I've positioned ourselves over the base to get a good overview of the Imperial Assault. The attack is about to begin. I've positioned the camera here over the base to get a good view of the Imperial attack. We've got uh, snow troopers on the left center and to the right here. We also have two ATSTs coming in here, supporting the infantry on the ground. Lots of fire all over the place. I hear a lot going on here on the right side, so we're gonna head down. Two of the ATSDs seem operational. One has perhaps broken down, it's still taking fire, but the one here on the far right side is still engaging the infantry. I don't think the rebel weaponry by this hangar can defeat it. And we have more stormtroopers, or snow troopers in this case, moving up behind, taking a lot of fire. This approach is quite open and unforgiving for the attacker. 
Rockets away there, hitting the infantry in the trenches. Looking really good so far. More ATSDs coming up here in the center and on the left flank as well. We're going to zoom down and get a closer view here from the Rebel perspective. Oh, there's an AT, AT coming in with lots of snow troopers on the ground. The uh, heavy walker itself is also going to be carrying snow troopers. So this is just going to turn out to a pretty epic last stand for the rebels. We'll see if they can put up enough resistance to defeat and push back the Imperial assault. There is absolutely a chance the rebel alliance will win today. But after the damage the Imperial Assault has already done to this base, I recommend they evacuate together with the rest of the rebel forces here on Hoth. Walker now dismounting the infantry or unloading. We're going to have a closer look here at the snowtroopers. That is so awesome! the walker I see the shadow this camera is about to get stepped on if we don't move imagine if that could actually happen in this game if like the camera just went black stepped on by a vehicle or a walker in this case I suppose it's still a vehicle but I, I'm, com I'm more comfortable calling them a walker okay so the outer perimeter of rebel defenders have almost been uh, eliminated they're all Pretty much dead here in the trenches. We have a few here on the left side still holding on, still. They've actually done a pretty good job at keeping them up here by the hill, away from the open and away from the rebel trenches. We have a few very brave defenders still holding their ground here against overwhelming odds. Look at the amount of snow troopers coming in now as well. And a second ATAT. So these are the last rebels outside the base itself. Uh, this perimeter has done better than the other two, uh, presumably because no AT-ATs are attacking this flank. There is a lot of snow troopers moving up now, but the rebels are holding their ground. Oh, look up here in the center. Snow troopers are about to enter the base from above. I think we might see a few enter from the hangar side as well on the left, but let's focus on this area as of now.
how are they doing here on the left side? Well, they're starting to defeat the rebels. Yeah, that's it. There's only a few left. One is crewing a turret. It might be broken. We're going to see if the stormtroopers or the snow troopers here can deal with it. Troops outside. How are we doing over here by the hangar? They're getting closer, but they haven't entered it yet. I think there's a few rebels alive inside the hangar as well. I see a pilot and another trooper, but they're they're staying down. They're hidden so far. A few snow troopers are moving in now, throwing hand grenades, getting up close and personal with the rebel defenders. Okay, it looks like they've secured the entrance. Now they have to take this entire floor and fight their way down. Grenade out. That is going to... Oh! One's going to be deflected, but the second one is going to kill the rebel holding the downside area by the bridge. There's a few left on that opposite side, but I think the stormtroopers are going to be able to secure this nicely now. They're taking a lot of casualties. Oh, I hear movement inside the hangar. I think troops are finally starting to storm this bit. Yes, they are. They've actually secured the entire uh, bay here. And now they're by the two gates... This is a pretty awesome scene here. Okay, we're starting to capture the bottom area now. The last remaining rebel defenders are now here in the control area. And they are surrounded. 
stormtroopers approaching from two directions. Oh! Last rebel personnel inside the base holding this area. Only five remain. There are probably close to a hundred stormtroopers outside, or snow troopers in this case. Lots of grenades being thrown. Oh god! And the last rebel defender is going to be brought down inside the control room. Now the remaining snow troopers are storming the base to clear out the remnants. What a pretty, pretty awesome fight. Hope you guys have enjoyed this map. Hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. All the action outside and indoors. Let me know what you would like to see next. I'm so excited to be playing Star Wars Galaxy at War again, but uh, I've got some pretty, pretty cool Clone Wars battles coming up as well. So once again, huge credit to the mapper, uh, Blood Moon, for this map. It's absolutely amazing. Hopefully, we made good use of it here. I really enjoyed the indoor fighting. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video coming up soon. Ciao.